So you're thinking about moving to Dallas, but you're really just not sure where you want to go. Well, there are a bazillion neighborhoods in the Dallas Metroplex to choose from, and many of them are awesome. But today we're talking about the best suburb in Dallas. We know it's the best because it's one of the best small towns to live in across the entire United States. You want to know where it is? Stay tuned. Hey, welcome back to Moving to Dallas, Texas Guide. I'm Brian White, a local North Texas real estate expert. And here on the Moving to Dallas Guide, we give you all of the information you need to make great decisions and make your best move possible when, uh, when moving to Texas. So this is the channel where we bring you information on neighborhoods, suburbs, restaurants, and really the overall trends going on in North Texas. I've lived here for nearly 17 years, been in real estate for a long time. We just love bringing that information to you. If you're thinking about making a move to the Dallas area, then, then please reach out. We would love to help you. We love helping clients move to, to Dallas or make their next move in Dallas. If you haven't already, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe so you never miss one of our updates. So today we're talking about one of the best cities in the Dallas area because it's also one of the best cities in the entire country. There are a couple of studies that have come out this last year that puts Flower Mound, Texas as one of the top five small cities to live in the United States. Flower Mound's awesome. It's where we live. We live just north of the Flower Mound area. And like I said, we've been here for a long time. It's got great restaurants, great amenities, terrific schools. We can show you the school districts as well and, and a variety of things going for it. So let's dive right in. Hey, before I dive in and talk more about the awards, before I get into specifics about recent awards to Flower Mound won, I just wanna give you an overview. So Flower Mound is in Northwest Dallas. So it's just north of Grapevine where Dallas Fort Worth Airport is. And it gets great ratings for just about, for so many aspects of life. As you can see here on niche.com, it gets an A plus for its public school system. Now, again, you should go to niche.com and do your own research, dive into the individual schools and the areas that you're gonna be looking for. But no matter what you're looking at, A plus is a spectacular rating. You can see that it also gets an A plus, that it's great for families. It gets an A minus for housing mainly because home prices are uh, going up. It also gets an A plus for jobs and then that A minus for health and fitness. There are a couple of areas, so it's not all roses. There are a couple of areas where we're Flower Mound is in the uh, B range. Cost of living is a big one. Outdoor activities is another one. I'd actually dispute that. So Flower Mound sits on the north side of Lake Grapevine. It's just west of Lake Louisville as well. So there's a lot of outdoor and water activities. Sports are everywhere. There's plenty of great parks and trails. Flower Mound's actually a terrific area for outdoor activity. So the Flower Mound's population is around 78,000 and growing rapidly. It's actually ranked as one of the top five fastest growing cities, small cities across the country and is right up there with Round Rock, which is a suburb of Austin in terms of expectations for future growth. It's growing fast and will continue to do so. It does have, although it may not have a ton of nightlife, it does have a lot going on. You can see here that the density in terms of a number of establishments, that's, uh, that's mainly restaurants, and, and other activities. So there's an increasing amount of dining. I've actually got several friends that have opened restaurants and, and they are great spots that I love to, to go to. Flower Mound's also known for healthcare. A number of years ago now, a Presbyterian hospital in Flower Mound opened up and that's just absolutely been a boon for the city. We've been getting great doctors and facilities built up all around that. And it's been a real plus for Flower Mound. One of the other things that that's done though is the hospital is located just off of the Flower Mound Riverwalk, where there's a ton of restaurants and, uh, and the Riverwalk, which is beautiful. But there's a lot of activity that's built up around that because when a hospital comes in, right, it creates a lot of jobs, creates a lot of uh, doctors and nurses and physical therapists and other stuff that goes around that. So it's been a, a huge plus, not only in terms of health, but in terms of other activities that it offers. So Flower Mound has an incredibly low poverty rate at just 3.8%. That's one of the, uh, the top things in the study. It also talks about housing costs and it's showing that the housing cost relative to income is, uh, is pretty low. Now, I'll give you a caution and say that a big driver for that is the fact that the incomes in Flower Mound are really high relative to the national average. The median home price in, in Flower Mound in April of 2022 
was $650,000. So true that yeah. relative to incomes in the area, it's incredibly affordable, but from that's because the incomes in the area are also really high. So it doesn't mean that uh, Flower Mound is incredibly affordable. It just means that it's an affluent area and relative to everything else going on, incomes are high. So homes at the 650K range are also affordable. It means that because incomes are relatively high, 640K homes are in the more affordable range for the population. And there are so many great things going on in Flower Mound. If you're interested in learning more, I would love to connect with you. We'd love to help you with a home search and really find out what What's most important to you and your family. Hit that link in the comments to connect with us and we look forward to learning more about you. Thank you so much for joining us. I want to leave you knowing that uh, God is good. Jesus has forgiven you. You are loved and everything is possible. Blessings.